All right, back again with more XNA RPG making. I'll just go ahead and fire up the project here. All right. Since last time, there have been a lot of changes, um, but it might actually look quite similar to what I had a few videos ago. All right, so what you can see here is the uh, black title screen. I didn't put any graphics in yet, but I press start to begin the game. And we load in the first map of graphics. Um, this is the first arrangement of tiles. As you can see on the map, uh, there's the, the two different types, the wall and the grass. Obviously, there could be a lot more in the future, but uh, that's all I did for now. And uh, the guy as he used to be. And um, now that everything is grid-based, I can move the guy around on the screen like I used to. And, of course, he has his walking animations and whatnot. You might also notice that the camera uh, that focuses on the hero only moves when it's supposed to. So when I move in the upward direction here, when I reach the top of the screen, the camera stops moving and the guy uh, continues on its own. Notice also that the camera doesn't move left. And as I move right now, it starts to follow. So uh, the camera is completely separate from the movement of the guy on the screen, and getting those to match up was a little tricky, but uh, it seems to be working quite well. Um, I've also managed to retain all the functions that I used to have, such as conversation. Uh, notice the scrolling text still scrolls, still makes the noise, goes on each line as it should. Also, you, dem you can demonstrate the pauses, and uh, continue moving along as such. Um, let me think also, inventory also works. This might look a little different in the next build. Um, I don't remember what I was thinking when I was doing this one, but uh, this looks a little weird. But you can still scroll through all the items, and you know, they don't have any effects yet, because, you know, there's a test. Um, let's see, also you could do a battle. You could spawn the first battle, and uh, just like last time, same exact thing. Um, press the button to attack and all that stuff, and the monsters go. And uh, now you can select between the monsters that are still alive. And the battle continues normally as it should. And then when we finish the battle, we go back to the uh, go back to the map screen. Um, so that's about it for now. Um, that's the main thing was just getting everything integrated with XML, loading tiles. Um, and making maps from those XML documents. So now the next thing is to uh, make sure that battles and conversations also work from XML loading and then do event triggers from there. So I guess uh, until next time.